Health measures have forced countless school choirs to change how they practice and perform. And now caroler groups must do the same. Mike Sullivan shows us how one group is still getting it done. Let's do um, the angel Gabriel. Practice may make perfect. The angel Gabriel. That's it. Sadly, there is no practice for a pandemic. This year, we really felt like people needed some hope. Perhaps a dash of holiday cheer as well. We're a quartet, there's four of us. With Adrian Pumphrey, the leader. And I'll just start us off on each verse. The four attempting to COVIDize a popular tradition, caroling. Ding dong, merrily on high. We're making sure that we're uh, singing from the sidewalk. Encouraging people to listen from their Fountain Square front doors as they go house to house. We've just put uh, a sign up on uh, nextdoor.com. A time slot to see these masked musical mavericks sing while spread apart. We uh, tested out singing with masks in rehearsals. Night. Seems like it doesn't affect the sound too much. Pumphrey says the prep work is the key to traditions this season. Do your research, find out what you can do safely, and find out what it is allowed. Trust him. Not only is he a school teacher. All right. Good start. He's had COVID. I've had a little taste of what people are going through. They're going to go caroling. Gabriel. That would probably be the safest way to do it. Thomas Dzinski is the director of epidemiology at the Fairbanks School of Health at IUPUI. Now is not the time uh, still to be gathering together in large groups. Yet he suggests finding normalcy for your own mental health. You might be able to create some new traditions around Zoom if, you, if you're creative. Even if outdoors, Dzinski says wear a mask. That would sound great. And social distance. Within those limits, do it. Find your healthy holiday hope.